What's good y'all, it's Solution back at it with another Mental Gym video in which I give you guys frameworks you can use to become extremely successful and achieve all the goals that you are after. So let's get right into it. So today's framework I actually like a lot because it's super, super, super extremely important for you to be able to understand. You see, a lot of people have misconceptions around what it means to be patient like what does it mean to be patient am i being patient or am i being impatient like people don't know because the thing is some people think they're being patient when they're really procrastinating and some people are being impatient when they're really just being ignorant or arrogant or failing to accept reality so for me i think the original general definition of patience is horrible and it doesn't serve you as a guy who wants to become extremely successful and achieve all the goals that you are after. And for that reason, and with many of my frameworks, that's why I write the definition in the context of you becoming extremely successful based on what it means, based on you becoming extremely successful in a way that will serve you best, right? So the definition that I came up with for patience is knowing how fast you can achieve your goals. That's what it means to be patient. You just need to know how fast it takes to achieve your goals. You wanting to achieve your goals quickly or do something really fast, people would normally call being impatient, but that's not a bad thing. You wanting to achieve your goals quickly and fast and accomplish a lot of things fast is not bad. It's okay. It's good. You want to accomplish things. You want to achieve goals. You want to be successful fast. It's okay. But you just need to know. And that's what leads into the first part of this framework on how you can learn to be patient, right? Under the context that I've given with this definition. And that is, well, the first part is awareness. Awareness. And then plus. And I'll talk about the next thing in a second. So the thing with patience or achieving your goals as fast as you possibly can, you need to be aware of how fast you can achieve something. For example, if I told you become a millionaire in the next 24 hours, you would be like, I want to because who wouldn't want to become a millionaire in the next 24 hours? But the problem with that is, you know, it's probably not possible to do that, right? And the way you would know is by asking someone who has achieved it before. Meaning, if you go and ask a millionaire, is it possible to become a millionaire in 24 hours, they would probably tell you, yeah, no, you can't do that. I don't care how hard or how fast you were working, you will not become a millionaire in 24 hours unless you have prior skills, beliefs, or character traits that allow you to become a millionaire in 24 hours, which you probably don't. So even though idealistically everyone would become want to become a millionaire in 24 hours which is fine it is just generally not possible for 99 percent of people and if you just accept that reality you're like okay i can't do it in 24 hours well then you just chalk that up to like well what about a week what about a month what about a year what about five years what about 10 until you get to a point where there's a lot of people who are achieving the goal in that time period. So let's say it takes 15 years to become a millionaire and you see a majority of millionaires don't become millionaires for 15 years when they decide they want to, to the point that they become, it takes 15 years. Then you know, okay, the fastest I can possibly do this is in 15 years. So you now are aware of that fact, right? And you are now patient because you know how fast you can achieve your goal which is being a millionaire, you know, the fastest, you, I'm not saying it is 15 years, but for example, you're like, okay, 15 years, boom, you know it is 15 years. But the thing is, even with that awareness, it might still cause you stress. You're like, bro, 15 years, that's crazy. But the thing is, the reason why you're annoyed by that, by that awareness or that knowledge you, have, you, you now have that, oh, why does it have to take 15 years is because you have wrong expectations at the moment as well. And that's what leads into the second part of this framework, which is important to master if you want to be a patient person in this context. And that is expectation. That is literally expectations. So if you want to be patient, knowing how fast you can achieve something, right? You want to not only be aware and know how long it takes 
for the highest likelihood of you achieving something because just because 0, 0 0.01, 0.0001 percent of person has achieved becoming a millionaire in one day, right? It does not mean that is the highest likely hit thing for you that's going to happen for you because you have your own position that you are in life right now, right? You have your own circumstances that you are dealing with that you've been dealt with when you've now set this goal that you have to overcome in order to achieve your goals, right? And that's what leads to expectations. Because think about it, the reason why you're not a millionaire right now is because you lack the character traits, beliefs, or skill set to do so. The problem is not the outcome. We all want outcomes. The problem is we don't have the ability to achieve the outcome yet. And this is something that I talk about specifically almost in my expectations video, what expectations video, which I think is a really good listen, you should 100% go and check it out because it helps you out so much for setting back better expectations that leave you less frustrated and less likely to not achieve your goals, right? So what do I mean by expectations? I mean, process-based. Because the problem is, most people are setting strictly outcome-based expectations and that's what creates the impatience. You're like, why can't this outcome happen now? I want it to happen now. Well, the thing is you lack the skill to achieve the outcome. That's why you don't have it. If you had all the skills, beliefs, and traits necessary in order to achieve the goal, you would have it. It's really just that simple. You're just not that good. That's why you don't have the thing that you want, right? So if you have the awareness, you know how long it generally takes, meaning you have, you know the highest percentage likelihood period of time it will take to achieve your goal, and then you set your expectations based on achieving the skills, character traits, and beliefs necessary to achieve the goal, then you will actually be patient because you are acting based on the things that are actually necessary to get the goal instead of just thinking about the goal. Most people are just thinking about the goal and just thinking about the outcome. Whereas if you shift your expectations to being based on the process, which is actually the important thing because the goal and the outcome is just the aim. It's just the milestone, it's just the aim. It's just so you know where you're headed, but the important stuff is all the work that must happen before you get there. So if you are aware of how long something takes, you're aware of how fast you can achieve the goal, and then you go set your expectations on the work that needs to be done to achieve the goal, you are now patient. Because you know how fast it achieves, how long it's gonna take you, because you not only know how long, generally, time period it takes to acquire the skills. Basically, you know how long you are now aware of the process, and then you go from awareness, because you know generally how long it takes, and then you go from there to the process, you find out all the works and all the work you need to do and the skills you need to attain to achieve the goals, you are now patient. Because now you just focus on doing the work instead of the outcome. Because you know, okay, it's gonna take 15 years for me to become a millionaire, cool. So what are all the things that I must master in order to become a millionaire in that time period? Because if I know generally, okay, it takes 15 years for people to acquire the skills. Because the reason why things take time, there's time intervals to achieving things, is because the process takes time. Meaning, it takes time to acquire the skills beliefs and character traits necessary to get outcomes. That's why things take time. That's why you can't just have the outcome you want tomorrow because it takes time to acquire skills and abilities. That's literally why things take time. So it's almost like awareness goes into expectations or awareness allows you to create your expectations because if you're aware something takes 15 years, let's just say someone tells you it takes 15 years to become a millionaire. You're like, okay, you're like, the reason why it takes 15 years is because the process, the process, the actions and skills and abilities that I need to acquire, right, takes 15 years to attain. But you can go as fast as possible with gaining the skills and abilities because that's the important thing. And that's what your expectations should be based on. Because setting your expectations based on if you have the outcome 
outcome or not does not serve you because as I just told you, your outcome is just the aim. The outcome is just something that happens after you do all the work that is necessary. So once you have set the outcome, who gives a fuck about it? It's just the aim. It's just there to be the aim for you. Now you put all your sights on the process and just doing the work. And you, now that you know the work that is necessary to do, you can move as fast as possible in doing the work. Meaning you could go as hard as possible day in, day out. And then achieve the goal. Maybe it takes most people 15 years, right? But it might only take you 9 or 10. Simply because you were aware that it takes this amount of time. And then with that awareness, you were like, okay, what are the skills, character traits, and beliefs that I need? process based expectations and you were like okay let me acquire these skills as fast as possible so now instead of what most people do who are just dumb they're ignorant they don't know they're just like bro why don't i have this thing already they're sitting there wasting time compared to you when you wake up every day when you have awareness and you set expectations based on the process if you're feeling quote-unquote impatient or antsy you're like I need to go grind. I need to go put the work in. I need to go get this stuff done. And I need to acquire these skills and abilities and character traits as soon as possible so I can achieve my goal as fast as possible. Right? That's what I'm saying. This to me is what patience actually is. That other definition of patience doesn't make sense to me. Wanting to achieve your goals fast is completely okay. You just need to be aware of how long it takes to acquire the skills. And what I also want to make sure that I touch on is, well, how do I get awareness? Because some of us don't know. We don't have a, we don't even have a shred of idea of how long it takes to do certain things, right? So if you don't know something, right, you can refer to your value circle. You can refer to your value circle. And the value circle, which is another framework video that I've made, but I'll touch on it very quickly. The value circle is essentially people who can help you achieve your goals, meaning people who have knowledge and information about what you are trying to achieve because they've either achieved what you want and you can get information from them, or it's someone who wants to achieve the same thing as you because having someone like this, if you don't have someone who's already achieved what you want, is better than nothing because they can give you more context that could potentially help you, or the best type of the three, which is someone who's achieved what you want and you can just go work directly with them because it will be easier for them to give you awareness. Because if you're someone who is not a millionaire and you know someone who is a millionaire, you could go ask them, well, how long does it take generally to become a millionaire? And they could tell you 10, 15 years or 20 years or whatever they tell you. And then you're like, okay, cool. So it usually normally takes most people 20, 15 years to achieve this goal. So what are all the skills that they acquired during that period that led them to being a millionaire, right? And once you know what those skills are and what those things they needed to acquire were, you can set your expectations properly. You're like, okay, these are all the things I need to have in order to be a millionaire. So until I have all of these skills and character traits, the likelihood that I will be a millionaire is low. So that means even if it's said to take 15 years or 20 years, you have are aware of the fact of how long generally it takes most people. Cool. So you have a general awareness. You're not just shooting in the dark. And then you can, based on that, you can figure out what the skills are. You figure out what the skills are. And then you make that the focus. You're like, instead of, why am I not a millionaire today? It's, you wake up, you're like, let me go make sure I get the skills and ability. I do, I do, I put the work in today. I train the skill and ability I need. I work on sales. I work on getting customers today. The things that actually move the ball forward instead of just thinking about the outcome like most people do because they lack awareness and are setting poor expectations. So if you want, if you want awareness, if you want to know how fast you can achieve your goals, you need to become aware. And to become aware, you go to your value circle, which is someone who has achieved the goals that you want to achieve and they can breathe knowledge, they can breathe life into your head and context on how long generally how long it takes to achieve something with that you're like okay it takes this amount of time then the way you set your expectations is based on what are the skills and character traits and beliefs that i need or i need to acquire during this general period of time you've been giving on how long it takes to achieve something and then focus on just doing those things as soon as possible and with that you can be patient
because now you know how long it takes you to achieve something. It's actionable. It's right in front of you. You can't deny it compared to what most people do, which is they're like, oh, well, whatever. I just want this outcome today. Right. Which is unrealistic because of the lack of awareness. So real quick, actually, too, I just want to make sure to go over expectations, even though it seems like I've went over a lot of times for when it comes to expectations. What I mean by expectations is you set how you're going to achieve your outcomes properly. That's what I mean by process based process based is the work, the actions that are necessary to achieve your goals. You don't want to set outcome based because it will take time, right? But the only way you can move forward or basically lower the amount of time it takes to achieve something is by having the skills, character traits and beliefs necessary, right? By process, you want skills, whatever, skills, character traits, traits, and beliefs. That's what the process is. The skills, character traits, and beliefs that you need. That's These are the things that will get you the thing faster. If you get these things taken care of. So you can use that, what you would call right now, impatience or desire to achieve your goals fast on getting the skills and character traits and beliefs. That's where you want to drive that necessity to get the goal fast. It's cool and it's amazing to move with urgency because you will achieve your goals faster. You don't have to be patient because most people are actually procrastinating. Because think about this, and this is the last thing I'll talk about in regards to this framework. Most people have no clue how long it takes. But let's think about the opposite. What about the people who do know how long it takes? And they are aware of how long it generally takes. And they're aware of the process, meaning they're setting their expectations based on the skills and character traits and beliefs they need to acquire to achieve the goal. And they know. Well, if they're not going as hard as they possibly could, meaning if they're not using as much time as they possibly could to acquire the skills, character traits and beliefs, essentially they are procrastinating. Because even if they know how fast they can achieve the goal and they are choosing to not go as hard as they possibly could, that means they're procrastinating because they know what they should be doing and they're choosing not to do it. So they might not actually want the goal as much as they say they do. Because that's not a patience or impatience problem. That's a procrastination problem. So don't be in that category of being somebody who knows what they're supposed to be doing and procrastinate. If you know what you're supposed to be doing, if you know the skills and character traits that you need to get after becoming aware from your value circle of how long it generally takes to achieve a certain goal, you need to go as hard as you possibly can if you want to achieve the goal as soon as possible. You need to be acquiring these skills and character traits. And you also don't want to be on the other end of the spectrum where you're just ignorant. You just believe you should be a millionaire in the next 24 hours. Like, just if you let go of these foolish beliefs by going to your value circle and people giving you the proper knowledge, you won't cause yourself to suffer and waste time. Because just believing something should happen is not going to make it happen and it's ultimately a waste of time. So cool. So that is pretty much my patience framework. That's how this is the framework I have personally used to be a more patient person by always knowing how long it takes to achieve something, becoming aware. And I become aware by referring to my value circle, which is people who can help me achieve my goals because they have information I need. And then from there, I set my expectations based on the process, not the outcome, because the outcome is just the aim. It's not the thing. The process is the thing. So I set my expectations on how fast I can move based on the process. And the process is made up of the skills, character traits, and beliefs that I need to acquire to achieve the goal. Because if I already had the skills, character, character traits, and beliefs necessary to achieve a goal, I would have already achieved it. So that's what makes that the most important thing to acquire. So yeah, so let me know. Please give me feedback. Did that make sense? Was it complicated? Do you like this version of patience instead of the general ambiguous and misconceptions that you've probably norm normally heard about it. Does this make a lot of sense? Do you like it? Um, did you not like it? Was it stupid? Did it not make sense? Do I need to explain it better? Please just give me feedback on all that. Please, please, please like the video. It boosted the algorithm. More guys can see this. Actually know what it means to be patient in the context of achieving their goals and achieve their goals as fast as they literally, literally, possibly 
could. So with that being said, I guess I will catch you guys in the next Mental Gym video. Peace.